Good everybody, Bengal Latin GA. As an icon student, what are the things that you expected to know somebody may ask? The one to write and sitting or she's sitting for CSME. That is corporate strategic management and ethics. Corporate strategic management and ethics. So what are the things that you need to know? And what are the aim of this course? So these are the things that we will be treating in this uh, podcast. First of all, what's the aim of this course? Simply, the aim of this course is to turn you into a strategist. After you've passed the exam, it's to turn you into a business strategist. A person that could look into the future of an organization. Somebody that could bring bad to an organization and grow it. A somebody, a person that can come into an organization and turn it around. That is the aim of this course so first of all your current syllabus is broken into four parts apart from the introduction there's a category for strategic management and that carries a lot of weight 30 percent of your syllabus is strategic management topics and also risk management a strategist must know how to mitigate risk how to manage risk then we go into governance you know that a lot of issues that bring an organization down majority of the time always boil down to governance risk management and governance so governance is another thing that you'll be looking at. And last but not the least is ethics, the morality in business and the like will be looked into. So what are the breakdown of this group of uh, categories? What are the breakdown? What are the topics that you need to study to pass? this exam basically for corporate strategic management and ethics currently you have 20 topics and the first one is for you to know the definition of strategy itself the stakeholders the mission the vision of an organization and the like then we move on into environmental analysis you must be able to examine your business environment and proactively respond to it then competitive forces you need to know who are your competitors what are their strengths what are their weaknesses do they even have opportunity in this market and if they have how can you partake of the opportunities too and compete favorably with them so competitive force will be looked at then you look at internal analysis as you are looking outside you must look within too so you look within your organization analyze your organization your strengths and the like competitive advantage we'll be looking at so how, what are our strengths in our organization how can we compete favorably what can we use those are things you'll be studying under competitive advantage method of development you need to develop products how can you develop products based on your competitive advantage that you have to have your own market share 
So we look at method of development and we study strategic implementation. After you've been able to organize yourself as an organization, you've developed a product, you've think through a lot of things, then how can you implement things? How can you ensure that they are executed and uh, you can start them and they are running? We go further to examine functional strategies. Functional strategies. That is, how can individual organization break itself down into various departments and they work together. The interrelationship of an organization within is functional strategy. We are going to look at it. Then we are going to look at identifying and assessing risk. It's another topic. How can we identify what are our risk and assess them? Do we need to consider them at all? How can we respond to them? We will look at we will look at controlling risk too. How can we control our risk having identified them? We will examine the scope of governance. We will know also and study different approaches to corporate governance. We will examine things around the board of directors director's remuneration, governance reporting and disclosure, ethics theory, who and who promulgate what, who supports social version of ethics theory, is morality really in business and the like, so those are the things that we examined. We'll go to chapter 17, which talks about taxes and social responsibility. Nowadays, organizations are beginning to know that they need to be socially responsible for customers to be loyal to them. Then we'll move on to professional practice and code of ethics. Professional practice and code of ethics will be examined. Then we examine conflict of interest and ethical conflict resolution conflict of interest and ethical conflict resolution that is where two or more people are definitely there will be conflict and when there are conflicts how are we going to settle them and ensure that there is an amicable win-win resolution if that is possible for when we to happen. Last but not the least is social and environmental issues in ethics and business. Social and environmental issues in ethics and business. So these are the things that you need to know under CSME and run the race. I hope this bless somebody. Gala MG, the CEO of Chichens Associates. Please like us. There are a lot of information that you have access to on this our channel. I read up, listen to it, subscribe to us as we continue to dish out videos, recordings that will ensure that you maximize your potential I see you on top we evaluate your business value to life bye bye